Hi, welcome back to Ed Foodie. Hi, welcome to Ed Foodie. Today we're going to make a, um, what, my, what I used to call when I was younger, a crazy cake. And uh, what it really is, I guess, is uh, a depression cake is the real name of it. Uh, and what, why it's called a depression cake is because back in the days of the depression, there were uh, lots of shortages of certain food items. And so this was a way to make a cake with no eggs and no milk. So, uh, and I didn't realize it when I was younger, but this was every time it was my birthday, I, my mom would ask me, what kind of cake do you want for your birthday? I said, oh, give me a crazy cake, give me a crazy cake. Uh, so even though it was uh, made for the depression, it's still good today and when we're not in a depression. So uh, what I got here is a big bowl and a one and a half cups of flour. I'm gonna pour in three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa. One cup of sugar. One teaspoon of baking soda. One, one teaspoon of vanilla. One tablespoon of white vinegar. I know that sounds like a strange ingredient. One half teaspoon of salt. And five tablespoons of um, just salad oil. And I guess maybe there was a shortage of butter or something during the depression also, so there's no, there's no butter in here either. And then last, one cup of water. So we're just gonna mix this all together. I have looked up some recipes and they say you can mix this just right in, right in the baking pan. Uh, but I'd, I just thought it'd be easier in a round bowl. But uh, this is such a moist cake. That's why I really loved it so much when I was a kid. <clears throat> and I guess during the Depression, they just made the cake and maybe sprinkled a little bit of powdered sugar on top and ate it, but we're going to, like I say, since we're not in a depression, we're gonna put some icing on this cake. I can't see chocolate. Cocoa or chocolate? Cocoa, which, it's like chocolate, but there's no sugar in it. All right, I think that looks good. So what we're gonna do is pour this directly into, I've got an eight by eight, Non-stick pan, brand new, just purchased today. It doesn't look like much, but I guess since there's a, uh, we have baking soda in here, it'll, it'll rise a little bit. I've got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. And we're gonna bake this for 35 minutes. Okay, so our oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna put this in the middle rack. And we will bake for 35 minutes. And then we'll give it a toothpick test. So it's been 30 minutes I just wanted to, hopefully I can show you here. We'll stick a toothpick and we bring it out. Actually, it looks pretty good. So if it comes out and it's still kind of wet, you'd want to cook it for, you'd want to bake it for a little bit more. Uh, this is coming out pretty clean. So I got three more minutes um, on the cake. I think I'll just go ahead and leave it in for the three minutes, but I know it's, it's done. Okay, 35 minutes is up. We will bring the cake out. Look how dark that is, nice and chocolatey. Smells so rich and chocolate. Uh, so we'll let this cool off. It's late afternoon here today, so 
I'll probably let this sit overnight and then we'll uh, put the make the frosting and put the frosting on tomorrow. All right, so let's get uh, the frosting ready for our crazy cake. I'm gonna start by heating up three fourths cup of milk. This frosting uh, in my mom's recipe book calls it mock whipped cream frosting. And that made me start thinking. I don't know if, um, if it's uh, depending on what part of the country you live in. I always called it icing growing up. So I don't know if icing and frosting, if it depends on what part of the country you live in. So here I've got three and three fourths tablespoon of flour. And I know it's kind of hard to measure three fourths of a tablespoon, but do your best. And so I'm just gonna pour this in a little bit at a time. Stir it, make sure we don't get lumps. So we're going to uh, continue to stir this until we get um, kind of a paste. Okay, so I think this is pretty good because we're gonna end up, we're gonna let this cool off for a little bit and then we're gonna mix it in with our other ingredients and then I think we put it in a, a mixer. So we'll be, if there is a little bit of lump, we'll get the lumps out with the mixer. All right, so let's let this cool off. We'll come back in maybe a half hour. Okay, so we're gonna finish up this frosting. I've got three fourths of a cup of, I'm using, I can't believe it's not butter. Uh, some kind of margarine or oleo and even butter will probably work. And that uh, comes out to one and a half sticks of butter. Mine's uh, pre-softened, so it's gonna mix well. So to this, we're gonna add one half teaspoon of vanilla. And I have three fourths cup of sugar. So we're just gonna cream this. Stir it up till we get a nice little cream. And then we will slowly mix in the paste we made from the milk and flour. So here's our paste that we made. I'm gonna maybe put in half of it now. You want to lick the beater? Mm. Like ice cream. That does taste like whipped cream, kind of. Yeah. Well, actually, I never thought of it before, but it, it does kind of taste a little bit like whipped cream. So I'm going to just use, I think, a spatula to put this on. Yeah, looks like there's plenty, plenty of icing. I don't like as much frosting as I used to when I was younger. Okay. She's 21 and she's crazy, so I made her a crazy cake. <laughs>
Let me try. We've been waiting all day for this because we made this for my youngest daughter's birthday, so we had to wait for her to come. Mm. Very good. Very moist cake. I love the frosting too. It's really good. I think it's real sweet. You, you don't think it's that sweet. But uh, pretty much how I remember it growing up. So this is a great recipe. Uh, pretty easy to make. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe to Ed Foodie.